Today, we're going to take all of our windows and put them into a schedule, but easy and automatic way. We can make these schedules into any configuration we like. So stick around and I'll share some of the tricks I've picked up. To kick off, to get all of our windows into the schedule, we're best off starting off in the floor plan. You'll notice that all of my windows have labels as well as numbers associated with them. So that we can do this automatically, quick, and take out all the manual legwork, let's just select the first window, just up the top, just here. Now, just in this bottom left-hand corner here, we've got ID and properties. If we change this ID at the moment and we say go to five, we'll see that it automatically updates the label that I've got associated with it. This is because the label has been set up to automatically pick up the ID and show it within the center of the circle. So for this level, I'll show you the settings we've got set up so that you can copy them and use them in your own project. If we just scroll on down until we get to property label, I've used this label with these settings just here. And if we go to symbol label custom settings, I'll scroll through so that you're able to copy the different settings that you've seen within each of the different panels. Now to find the label tool, it'll typically be just next to your text tool. So if we just select the label tool and then we just click on top of the window, it's going to automatically show the ID within that circle. Handy quick way to set it up. So from here, let's say I didn't have any of these labeled correctly just yet. If I select all my windows, I'll just call them X and you'll notice that all the labels have automatically updated as well. I find having labels on the windows helps me see which ones I've labeled before and this helps me make sure that I've kept in sequence as I go around. Typically for me, I start at the top of the page, top left hand corner and work my way around in a clockwise fashion on a small project like this. For multi-res or bigger projects, projects, things start to get a little bit more complicated, but that's for another video. So what I'll just do, I'll start with my top left hand on the top of the page and I'll just go W1, enter. Now I'll just want to make sure that's a capital W1. And then from here, I'll just go around the page, typing in each of the numbers associated with the window. I won't bore you by doing the whole thing all over again. So let's just undo that and get to the good bit. So to have all of this automatically go through to a schedule, it's actually pretty straightforward. If we just go into our project map, just up the top right hand here, and then we scroll on down until we get to schedules. If we right click on schedules and go to scheme settings, this is going to bring up all the schedules that we've already had preset. Now I've already got a bunch that I've got done in here. So if you're familiar and just want to copy them, please just go ahead and you can use them yourself. But if you haven't made one yourself before, let's just go ahead and set this up. So what we'll do, we'll just go to new and then we're going to have scheme or we'll call this one window schedule example we'll have this one on elements and we'll just go okay so from here, we'll notice on this right hand side, the criteria and the fields are all blank. To set these up so that they're actually showing windows and the different criteria, we'll just have to follow a couple little steps. First up, we'll just go to add criteria. We'll type in element ID and we'll click on this one here and go add. Now our element ID that we set up just before started with a W. So what we can do, we can just go across to this little section here and go starts with W. That way, any other things that we've set up, say like doors that start with D, they're not going to be picked up in the schedule. So we can separate our doors from our windows. Now, before we get too far, we'll wanna make sure we have the right element selected. We'll change this from all types, just down until we get to this window just here. Next up, we'll just go down to fields and we'll go add field. And for this one, we're just going to type in hot link and element ID. We'll double click this one just here. And while we're at it, let's just get a side view of the window as well. So we'll type in view and I'll just double click this view from opening side one here. So let's see how it's progressing along. We'll just go okay. And let's double click on our schedule. Hey, there we go. So it looks like it's got all of our windows but it's a mess. So to quickly resize some of these different elements, what we can do, if we just double click on these points here, this will automatically resize that portion of the window so it fits what's inside of it. Let's just go through and double click for the rest of these elements. We'll double click here. Now we could go through, double click and manually do it for all of these, or we can change the row heights just on this left-hand side here as well. So if we go 10 for our row heights, it'll change all the row heights to that 10 size. Let's change it to say 20 and there we go. We can also change it from vertical to horizontal. Just up the top left here, if we go to columns, we'll click just on here and that's going to spread it out horizontally. Let's just double click this one here so it fits it all to the window. There we are, that's looking better. Now to say go from this to one of the other schedules that I was just showing before, all you really need to do is in the settings is add in new fields and criteria for it to pick up. Or if you'd like to match the schedule here, just fill in the fields like this below. I forgot to change this one back just to number one. There we go. Now you'll notice as I've changed it, it'll automatically change in the schedule as well. So having automatic schedules is such a massive time and stress saver as you develop developing a set of plans. Within the schedule, it'll automatically fill out information like the height and width, 
but we can also have custom fields as well. So for this one here, we've got a custom label in the schedule settings. We've called that one level. Now, if I go to add field and I go custom, double click on text six, we'll just go okay. Let's just change this one to say notes. I'll turn it to bold. Now, if I go back into my scheme settings, I'll notice that it's turned to the field mentioning notes. Now, if I go back to the field, you'll see that it mentions notes. So the labels are a little bit dynamic in this way. So we'll just go okay. But within here, I could add specific notes about this window. So fly screen to be added or something along those lines. Inside of here, we can just go copy and we can paste this into the rest of our fields if we need to. But where possible, it's always ideal to try and have these set up so that as much of the criteria is automatic as possible just to save any manual work down the track. So our drawings updated on our page. We'll just set this one to fit to frame. There we go. Now we've got that new information just down the bottom. Now just a cool little extra tip, just cause you stuck around till the end. Let's go to our elevations. If we go into our elevations, using that same label that we crafted just before, we can go onto our elevation and it not only works on the floor plan, but it also works on the windows in the elevation view. So if I just zoom in and click on the window, this is going to automatically label our windows on the elevation as well. Cool little trick just depending on the information you need to show on your plans. Now, if you'd like to skip the setup time of creating your own schedules, be sure to check out my Patreon page, which I have a link to down in the description. It's where I put all of my ArchiCAD files, adding new ones with each tutorial. Having access to quality base files saves years of time and stress with setup. So head on over and pick one up. For more tutorials, check out this video over here.